Good morning, sir and my dear friends. I am Ganga Satish Nair and my roll number is 22. The problem assigned to me is related to Kaplan turbines. So before that, let me give you an overview of Kaplan turbines. There are impo two important types of axial flow reaction turbine. First one is propeller turbine, the other one is Kaplan turbine. The main difference between these two is that veins on the hubs are adjustable for a Kaplan whereas it is not for a propeller turbine. Now we have two important points that is to be noted for a Kaplan turbine. That is U1 is equal to U2 and Vf1 is equal to Vf2. Here U1 and U2 are peripheral velocities at inlet and outlet and Vf1 and Vf2 are the velocity of flow at inlet and outlet. So these are important for the for applying in the problem. So now let me move on to the problem. The problem that we are going to discuss today is problem 18.3 from the textbook. Now let me read it. The hub diameter of a Kaplan turbine working under a head of 12 meter is 0.35 times the diameter of the runner. The turbine is running at 100 rpm. If the vane angle of the extreme edge of the runner at outlet is 15 degrees and flow ratio is 0.6, find diameter of the runner, diameter of the boss. Okay, boss means hub. All right, discharge through the runner. Yeah, and the velocity of whirl at outlet is given as zero. Hope the problem is clear to you. Now let me move on to the solution. So first let's note down the things that are already given. The hub diameter that is DB is 0.35 times DO. DO is the diameter of the runner. Alright. DB is 0.35 times DO. And head is also given. The head of the Kaplan turbine is 12 meters. Okay. Now, the turbine is running at 100 rpm. So, N is 100. 100 rpm. Alright. Now, if the vane angle of the extreme edge of the runner at outlet, that is 5. 5 is 15 degrees. So, now let me draw a rough diagram of the blade. Okay. So, this is the blade of the Kaplan turbine the inlet velocity the velocity inlet triangle okay so that is uh, Vf1 so this is V1 this is the relative velocity Vr1 okay now the, we have an outlet triangle so in that this is the relative velocity this is Vf2 and this is U2. This is phi. Alright. Phi is given to us. Okay. Now flow ratio. Flow ratio is given to us. What's the formula for flow ratio? Vf1 by root of 2gh. That is given as 0.6. Okay. So now from this we can find Vf1. 0.6 into root of 2 into 9.81 into 12. Now from this we will get it as 9.2 meters per second. Now another very important point which we already discussed is that Vf1 and Vf2 are equal. U1 and U2 are equal for a Kaplan turbine. Alright. So from this we already got Vf2. Now let me discuss about the outlet velocity triangle. And uh, the velocity of whirl at outlet is given as 0, right? So Vw2 is 0. And if you consider this triangle, from that you will get tan phi as Vf2 by u2. Okay. We have to buy U2. Vf2 is given because it is same as Vf1. So from that you can find U2. 9.2 divided by tan 15. And 
and you will get it as 34.33 meters per second. You, it's equal to U1. Alright, for Kaplan turbines. Now, from the relation U1 is equal to pi d0 into n by 60. From this, everything is given except d0. So, we can find d0. d0 is given as from this we will get it as 6.55 meters ok 6.55 meters now next thing we can find is db db right from this we know db is 0.35 times d0 so 0 0.35 into 6.55 you will get it as 2.3 meters alright that's clear no now discharge through the turbine is the third part of the question discharge through the runner so q is equal to pi by 4 into d naught square minus db square into vf1 so all these are given this is the diameter of the hub diameter of the runner and this is the inlet velocity so pi by 4 into 6.55 square minus 2.3 square into 9.2 and you'll get it as 271.77 meter cube per second. Hope this is clear to you. Thank you very much for listening.